All right, let's get you anytime the ball's there just to get opposite so this guy's got to see how far he needs to drop. All right, because a lot of teams will try to drive it right here, slide you right there, and if you get all the way down there too deep, they're going to get you on that pass right there. So you got to be able to cover both right there. Now, we can't let it get driven that deep. It's always like a cat and mouse right here. So he's right here, you're stunting at him, and then you're going to back up, back up big, hands up in the passing lane. You're going to come up and stunt, so you go out wide to take away the pass down the sideline. You're going to try to push him out, and then you're backing up. Any drive to, to the five man, the five man takes. The worst thing you can do is drive it, collapse, collapse in, and we put three guys on the ball right there. That's the last thing we want. All right, so your five has to be able to stop that drive. All right, back up a little bit for me here. Now, if you can do a great job stunning, like you stunt, all right, come on, come stunt, back up, stunt little, back up big, and you can get them to pick it up right there. All right, then we turn around and we try to deny and not let them have a pass. So you would try to deny that pass. Don't let them make it right there. Don't let them make it. Don't let them make it. Don't let them make it. And you try to get them to hold the ball out here. Now, that takes a lot of great stunt right there to make them pick it up. But a lot of guards, I would think probably at the high school level too, will panic a lot. They think you're coming to get them. I don't know what to do. I pick it up. I'm 40 feet from the basket. We try not to give them a pass. Now you can stay in the one, three, one from there, or then you can match up and go, man, just kind of depend on what you wanted to do. So that's, that's the importance of stunting. All right, let's get back in our one, three, one. All right, so we're out and up. You gotta be higher. You gotta constantly be checking basket and skip, knowing what's behind you. You gotta be able to cover the corner, but you can also make a play on the basket right there. All right, so we're out, we're stunting, we stunt. All right, they make a live pass there. Now don't go run and chase the ball. That's what everybody wants to do. They're gonna go run and chase it. All right, we play on that midline, let them catch it, let them stunt. So you're gonna go out and up. You're gonna attack it out, take away that pass down the sideline. Remember our five's got that drive. And then you're up here like this. You're ready to cover the corner, help with the basket. You're checking the basket, ready for that walk-in skip right there. Any questions kind of seeing it with some offense out there? All right, so if we go out and up, all right, say so he drives it some, keep stunning, keep stunning, it starts to get in here, start to back up. Now, once it starts to get in here, you got to come and take it. You got to contest that three. You don't want to drop too far out. There's a soft spot in the one, three, one. If he can curl in here and get in the high post, we're dead. All right, so you got to be talking to him. He may have to drop a second once it bounces back out. All right, curl in here for me. So you got to be able to get a hand right there. Now, like this, butt to the sideline. Right there, like that. All right, bounce it back out. Our five stopped it, dribble back out. He starts to back it back out. Now we can be back more like that, and our five man can help on it more. All right, but we don't want any penetrating pass in here. We don't want it to touch the middle. It's got to be live passes back and forth, live pass to the baseline, bounce pass to the baseline, no penetrating pass. All right, and you can be, you've got to be communicating to him on that pass. All right, so let's go out and up right here. Out and up, drive it some, stun at it, stun at it. All right, he keeps driving it, and then we back off. Let's say he throws it to the corner. All right, so what are we in? Let's just say right now, Fist is our man call and two is our zone call. What are we in? This corner. Opposite the point guard's fist. All right, you got it. You're closing out, taking away the shot. All right, you drop. As the ball went to the corner, you're dropping. Same one, three, one principles. You come down there, most of the time their five's going to be right there waiting on you. All right, I want you to deny that pass out right there. Don't let them get the first pass. They're going to look to throw it right there or throw it right back there. We're going to try to take that away. That's your matchup, man-wise. That's your matchup right there. All right, so fist. All right, start back our one, three, one. All right, let's say, all right, ball's right there. Where should you be? Out and up. Wing higher, out and up. Right there, active. Our fives always got to be here. We can't let them see that pass. 
All right, pass gets made. Come on, you're flying out and up. Take away the quick pass right there. Stunt some. It goes to that corner. It goes to that corner. You got to drop, drop. All right, we'll say two is our two-three call right now. 